everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. We're going to unbox Dungeons and Dragons Starter Set Stranger Things Edition. So let's open this up. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, we have two figures, not just one. All right, so that's interesting. So it starts out almost empty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so let's see. There's... Yeah. there's I must say, I am thrilled to see the return of the box set. Yes. I loved the box sets that TSR used to put out, and I'm glad to see them back. They're so much fun. So here we have a set of blue dice. Very serviceable, nothing special, but pretty. All right. So it just contains dice, two figures. Hope you can see them. I'm assuming these are the Demo Gorgon. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yep. Now, just to let viewers know, I've only watched the first three episodes of Stranger Things season one. I'm meaning to catch up. Well, you have seen both seasons so far, right? I have not seen the third season, but I've seen season one and two. Yes. Okay. All right. So it also comes in with some printed materials. It's the Star Set rule book. Uh, huh. All right, so this is uh, Mike's adventure that they're playing at the beginning of the show. And i got to say that the one thing that sold me on the show right away is the show opens up and they're playing the game. Hmm. And um, later on, his, uh, he's talking to his mom and his mom says, you've been playing D&D &D for 10 hours? And he says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I completely related to that. Yeah. Yes. I would play D and D for ten hours. Uh, I'd play D and D for more if I could. Uh, yeah, I used oh, I used to play for 12, 14 hours straight sometimes. Uh, I no. loved it so much. I still do. Anyway, All right, so here it is. see rule book. Looks like that's the the adventure book. Yep. And these are the character sheets you start with. Yep. Uh, let's see. They've done a great job with the uh, verisimilitude here. The this is all drawn in uh, <laughs> crayon. Uh, this book. This box is all beaten up, like it would be if you were playing in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. So, I'm going to stop for a second and come review the materials, and we'll get back right to you. So, we took a look inside, and uh, there's a, an adventure book, as we mentioned before, a rule book, some character sheets, some blue dice, and two figures. Um, after reading it, I mean, the, the rule book is basically just 5e. If you play 5e, um, this will tell you exactly the same thing over again. Uh, but if it's great for new players, if you have someone joining in for the first time, maybe because they saw uh, um, Stranger Things and want to play that same game, uh, this would be a great book just to hand to them. Say, okay, here, here's um, the, some basic concepts of what the game's about, and also the you know equipment, um, what 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 stats means, and all that stuff. Um, so it's got everything you need to play. Got everything you need to play. Um, for experienced players, the only thing that they could get out of it, honestly, unless they really want to play the adventure, uh, it's just these figures. That's the only, for me personally, that's the only value I see. There's no maps, except for the ones inside the book. Um, it, I think it's purposely made to make you feel like this is the old school red box from back in the day. Sure. So, yeah. so the set feels very basic. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Again, it's, 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 I think this, this is only $20. Uh, but again, it's it's the only value I see is maybe if not the dice, then definitely these figures. Well, it's a pretty good adventure. Hmm. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's uh, supposedly written by the um, the kid um, hmm. in the the show. It's actually the adventure they're playing at the beginning of the show, hmm. and it has. <laughs> As an aside, it has some strange little tidbits, um, Easter eggs about the show. Okay. Right? Because it's very interesting. He wrote this adventure. It's all written on a lined sheet paper <laughs> in his handwriting. He wrote this adventure to himself, and he talks about his friends. So mm -hmm. it mentions the other characters. It mentions Dustin, and it mentions Lucas. Um, and there are other little tidbits, like the, uh, the Demi-Gorgon is, features in the adventure, 
And it just coincidentally happens to be the same creature that shows up in the show. Uh, the adventure, part of the adventure takes up, takes place in the Upside Down, mm. which of course is in the show. So it's got this strange overlap with the show itself. Would you say that you think that D&D fans that have played before, that are experienced, but want to play that world that the kids set up, it's, this would be perfect for them? Well, um, the, y yes, uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not going to feel like the show, really, except for the Upside Down, the, 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 uh, the Demi Gorgon. Um, the, the world of the adventure is a fairly generic, hmm. you know, D&D &D world. Uh, but it's it's a good adventure. He um, it it would be great for first time GMs um, because he really talks about it step by step, you mm -hmm. know. And he reminds. I mean, he starts with this great little bit where he explains how the games are played. Or the the players control all their characters. I, the mm. DM, that's short for Dungeon Master, <laughs> <laughs> controls everything else. Uh, and the dice tell us how uh, random things come out. And, you know, like he'll say, this scene is about talking. Let the characters talk. Oh. Um, and he's got little maps in here, which, uh, yes, they do not include as maps, which might have been fun. But they're... <laughs> Pretty easy to replicate. They're just hand-drawn maps, just like we all used to make hmm. on the graph paper. Um, you know, the, the, the adventure's got um, some fighting, um, some talking, lots of bits. Uh, you know, a magic knight, knight with some riddles to figure out um, that are kind of handy. Uh, a magic maze. Um, it's got a character called the Proud Princess, which is very um, similar to characters we see in the show. Okay. It made me think of um, Eleven and, and, and the other girl that we don't see until season two, whose name escapes me at the moment. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I think uh, Mike did a good job and <laughs> made himself a nice <laughs> little adventure. We have uh, six characters, which are, you know, one run the range. Um, bard, yeah. magic user, cleric, rogue. Yeah, um, just this is a level three adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's true. Good point. It's a level three, and it says at the end that the, uh, it, you know, where Mike's talking about rewards. He says the biggest reward would possibly be taking them to fourth level. So, mm. you know, use the information provided on the back of the character sheet to make them all go to fourth level and then go out and buy the rest of the books and play more D&D. &D. Mm. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, you there might not be any reason for someone who knows the rules to buy it for the rule, but if you're new to the game, it's a great place to start and it's actually a pretty cool adventure. Yeah, if you have, um, if you want to just D&D &D to a group of people and they've seen right Stranger Things, I think this is, this is perfect for them. Yep. Gives you everything you need. It's not um, going to take you 10 hours, but still, yeah. it'll be fun. <laughs> After reading the adventure, Matt, uh, this is not a Stranger Things role-playing game. It's a D&D game that's based from a, from a part of the show. Yes, exactly. If for some reason you want Stranger Things the role-playing game, this is not it. Mm -hmm. This doesn't feel like Stranger Things. It is a good, simple... D&D adventure with some Stranger Things Easter eggs in it. So, yeah, just so we're clear, it's not Stranger Things the role-playing game. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is a, you know, Will um, in mm. real life, you know, with a backpack fighting the demi -Gurgan. That's That's not what the adventure is about. You're going to play a dwarf or an elf yeah. or something. <laughs> So, just to be clear. Oh, and it says here it's a D&D &D campaign. This is not a campaign. <laughs> yes. This is an adventure, which is fine. It's a good adventure, but it's, it's not a campaign. Hmm. Mike was, you know, getting a little ahead of himself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I still think it's worth the money, if, especially if you haven't played D&D &D and you want an intro. Okay. Yeah. All right, excellent. Um, so, yes. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think. Have you bought the box set? What do you What do you think about Stranger Things? What do you think about um, 
about this this uh, the adventure. Uh, let us know in the comments below, and have a great day.